Good morning. Good morning, Cal. <gasps> hey, sugar. Hi, Cal. So I'm currently pumping right now and it's like 7.30. I put him to bed last night at 8.30. I fed him at around 8.30 and then put him straight to sleep in his magic sleep suit and that thing has been so great. At first I was just putting him in it in his diaper because I thought it was going to be so hot and it worked the first night. He slept like eight hours and then it kind of didn't work as well anymore. So I started, I felt like his hands felt cold to me. So now I've been putting him in the sleep suit over his pajamas. And ever since I started doing that, he has slept so long. Like, yeah, he's gone 11 hours without, um, without waking up, which is just awesome. So last night he went to sleep a little after 8.30 and then I woke him up just now at 7 a.m. So it's really nice. I'm getting a full night's sleep. And so is he. And we're getting ready to go to the gym today. I'm gonna try out the daycare class that they have at the gym. So they have like free daycare while you go to your gym class. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, so I am, I just got out of the gym and I would have vlogged on my way, but I was running late, of course. Now I'm in my car, I'm in the back seat um, feeding Cal. It is so hard to breastfeed in workout clothes. It's just like really awkward. Um, and the cars, normally I would have the car running to keep it cool, but I have no gas, so I need to get gas. And it was really great. It was great getting back into working out. I felt like I had never even missed a beat. Like I just was like right back at the same um, weights, everything was the same. The only thing is, I think the only difference I can tell is my abs. I didn't really, um, we didn't do much abs, but I definitely know that my abs are not as strong. But his daycare was so great. But anyways, I dropped him off and I went back and picked him up after the class was over. And he was supposed to eat at 10 and by the time I was done with the class it was like 10, 15. So I thought he was going to be like screaming. And he wasn't, he, they were just rocking him and he was sound asleep. So that was awesome. I felt really great. He was the only baby in there. There were a couple of toddlers, um, maybe some kids, but they have it like kind of divided up into three different areas. So he was in the baby section just by himself, which was awesome. Life with a newborn is just so much more difficult than just running in and going. So we just got to Target and I changed him. I just changed him out in the car because um, I think it's just easier than trying to like go through um, the crowded bathroom and do it in there. And I have him in his Ergo and he's sucking on his passy because he was getting fussy. Um, oh my gosh, I look like a mess. Just got home from Target. What you doing? He was sleeping. Time for him to eat, but I'm gonna see if he'll sleep a little bit <laughs> longer while I put away the groceries. So it's been a busy day already because I went to the gym and then Target, and now it's 1:30, and um, I just feel like the day is almost over, and I still have all the cleaning to do and stuff like that. But I called the pediatrician because he's just been like, I feel like this is just gonna end up being like the dumbest vlog ever. I'm just gonna be talking. Um, he's been so gassy and he has not been pooping as much since he turned two months old. He's only been pooping like this past time he pooped this morning and it had been five days. And like, you know your mom when you get so excited about poop like that's that's my life so I was really excited that he did that this morning but I still felt like I wanted to call them and after um, dropping him off in the daycare 
place this morning. They said that he was really gassy. So I called the pediatrician and they said that, you know, it was probably pretty normal for him to only um, go to the bathroom like that, that often. And that as long as his stools weren't hard, which it wasn't, it was um, normal. I mean, different than what it was every day, but it wasn't anything weird. And so she said to try the Gerber Soothe, which I've already tried, but I, I've, I think I've only tried it three times, so I haven't really given it like a real chance, I feel like. So she said to give him that once a day, five drops, so I'm gonna try it again. And it's really hard to use because it doesn't have a dropper. It's just kind of weird, and you're supposed to like put it, if you're breastfeeding, you put it on your breast right before you feed. So it's just like a weird method. I wish that it was just a dropper that I could give him. Um, so I'll see if that helps. She also talked about dairy. And the thing is, is I don't, every time I've researched like diet and how it affects breastfeeding, everything that I can find research wise says that your diet does not, like it, that's the last thing that it could be if they are fussy or gassy. Like, so, I don't know, but she said dairy, and I'm just like, dairy is like milk and cheese, right? Like, I feel like that's something that I have often. I have cheese all the time, and I don't want to give up cheese, and I don't have that much milk, but, so I didn't really know, like, are you supposed to give up dairy completely? Um, like, what all counts as dairy? Like, if there's a little bit of milk in something, or like shredded cheese on your salad, like, like what's the extent of dairy, like a dairy intolerance in breast milk. So I don't know, we'll see. She wants me to keep her updated and let her know by the end of the week, but I feel like he probably won't have any bowel movements before then. I don't know, we'll see. I also ordered something called Tummy Calm from Amazon and that is supposed to help with gassiness, but we'll see. The fun things of motherhood. I'm so excited because we got a package and I thought it was gonna be some clothes I ordered for Cal, but it was this. My husband ordered this as a joke for one of his um, coworkers. He's gonna hang it in his office. It's pretty funny, <laughs> but not what I was expecting to get. Okay, so he's playing, hi there. He's playing on his little mat. I really love this thing from Target. It's got a mirror right here. So he likes to watch himself in it. And now that he's kicking and stuff, he can kick the keys and make the, and oh look, there he just grabbed one of the toys. So I just fed him. I changed him again because that's the third time or that's his third outfit of the day because he's leaked his diaper twice already. It's definitely time for size two diapers. I'm just keep thinking, oh, I can just finish using um, what we've got in size one, but it's probably time for size two. I got these little jeans. They're so cute. They're like, they're just like stretchy pants, but they look like denim. They're Cat and Jack. From Target they were $6.99 I got three to six month because now he's in he's two months old but he's just about ready for three to six month and some stuff and these looks kind of small especially his pants because I don't want the waist the waist can sometimes be a little bit tight on him on his belly especially if he's gassy and stuff so three to six month is the size I'm gonna start getting him for pants and I'm just gonna make some lunch. I've got some leftover pasta from the other night, so I'm going to heat that up. And I'm going to put some fresh um, veggies that we had for dinner last night on top of the pasta. I've just totally hit a wall. I'm so tired. It's 4.30. And look at those smiles. Hi, Cal. Um, I haven't done any housework. All I've really done since I got home is eat and feed. I've fed him twice now. 
and I'm just so tired, so I decided to get in bed and put him next to me and just do some stuff on my computer because I have the worst back pain ever since um, having Cal. I've had such bad back pain to the point where like I feel like I can't do things. And I, especially when I wear him, like I wore him around in Target today, when I wear him on me, it makes it even worse. And then it's just like, it's usually around 5 p.m. where it just starts to get um, so bad. And I'm going to the chiropractor tomorrow, so I'm really excited about that. Hopefully she can help, but it's just so bad that, like, just laying here in bed helps tremendously. But, like, walking around and trying to do things around the house, it's just so painful. Like, I just want to sit and relax. And also, he's been super, super gassy and stuff, so I did go ahead and try the um, Gerber Soothe when I fed him. So we'll see if that helps. Hi, Cal. Hi. We totally fell asleep. We took a little nap. Which was great. Oh, now I feel... Uh-oh. Bless you. Bless you. I feel nice and refreshed. I'm still tired, but I feel better. I was just telling my husband how the pediatrician re recommended the probiotic. And he said that you have to have a probiotic in your system for a few days for it to work. So that's probably why I never thought it helped was because I just gave it like one or two tries and then I stopped using it. So hopefully, I gave it to him today, so hopefully it'll help him now. What you doing? Oh, what you doing? Okay, I'm going to give these a try size two. I have a bunch of bags and boxes of size two, but I just wanted to get through. I only had one box left of size one, so I wanted to get through it, but it was like a 200 diaper box, and I just think that he's ready for size two, so I'm going to give it a try and see if how they fit and if we like it better. I guess I can just save all of his size ones. Cal? This is how we get things done around our house. Yeah, vacuuming. It's the Ergo Baby. I wore it today at Target. And David really likes it too. And so does Cal. He's just eating the side of it. <laughs> I'm cooking dinner right now. I'm going to make this Caesar um, pasta salad. I'll show you guys what I do because it's like one of our favorite meals. Okay, so I do penne pasta, but you can do any pasta. And then David's watching football, that's why it's so loud. Um, grilled chicken and salad, tomatoes, I'm using a couple different kinds, onion, shaved Parmesan cheese, um, I'm using these Asiago cheese crisps, but any kind of like crouton. And then I'm gonna use some roasted garlic and herb seasoning, pepper, um, grated Parmesan, and then this is the best brand of dressing ever. I buy all of my dressings. Is it gonna focus? Well, you can see it. It's Boathouse Farms. It's a yogurt-based dressing, and I it's the only dressing I buy it's just, it's so, like, I don't know, it's amazing. It's so creamy and it's good and it's like fewer calories than um, other dressings. Mixing it up. And here's the finished product. It's so yummy. And a Diet Dr. Pepper because that's my obsession. And Cal's in his swing and we need to figure out something to watch. If you know of any good shows that are starting or on right now, let me know. You don't want to be a bird. No. You just a jeweler. Okay. 
had to have some cereal too. I was still a little bit hungry. We're finishing the night off with some dinner for Cal. And David's cleaning the kitchen. It's really nice when I have to breastfeed so he can clean. But that's it for today. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.